By the end of this video, you will have learned the best and most efficient way to unlock all of your camos for your SMG category. But make sure to pay close attention to one of these SMGs specifically, as it had one of the camo challenges that had me getting extremely heated. And if you were in my live stream when I did it, you'll remember the challenge I'm talking about. Now let's go ahead and get into our first SMG, which is going to be the Striker. And we want to go ahead and put this thing in the gunsmith and show you the challenges for these camos. There's not much to this one, but one thing to keep in mind is gold or gilded is always going to be the same thing, which is 10 kills with taking no damage from the enemy. And then you go ahead and go over to forge and you see that it is three kills, not dying 10 times. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Where it does get a little confusing is when you go into priceless. And for priceless, it says five kills without dying. However, you should know that it's not five kills because these challenges do not track properly and it actually works in your favor. So for this challenge, you actually only need three kills without dying. So you don't necessarily have to focus on going in and getting five kills without dying. Now the build we have for that is basically ammo. And the reason we use only ammo is because you wanna get more damage on the enemy to give you the upper hand. Now where it does matter for this weapon is you do always wanna have a riot shield because you are trying to get kills without dying and this will help get those kills and keep you safer while you're doing it as you don't have eyes in the back of your head and for the tactical you do want to use stun grenade so that you can get up on someone stun them and take them out and then for your lethal go ahead and use a thermite so that you can throw it at someone to go ahead and give them damage and then hit them with your weapon that you want to complete that challenge with the ammo box doesn't necessarily matter but i do however recommend using these gloves to quickly change your riot shield to your weapon and then for a little added bonus go ahead and use the tack mask so you take less damage from enemy explosives and stun grenades. And that's the build you wanna use for the Striker 9. Again, there's not much to that one, but let's go ahead and get in to our next SMG. While we're waiting for this next SMG to load up, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss any other videos that I have like this. Also, like the video and you can share it with a friend. Unless you wanna be competitive, then don't share to said friend. Let's move on to our next SMG. And that is going to be the WSP Swarm. And I have to say, this one was actually a pain in the butt for me, and I'll show you why in just a second but let me go ahead and show you the challenges for this weapon again we don't really need to look at gold because it's the same for gold every time 10 kills no damage from enemy so we're going to go straight into platinum which is hit fire kills while the enemy is affected by your tactical and when i say tactical i don't mean any tactical it absolutely has to be stun grenades and that's because every other tactical actually is not tracking because they are bugged so you have to use stun grenades because nothing else will work now that that's said and out of the way let's get to the worst part of the challenges for this weapon and that is going to be when we're going for the priceless camo you'll notice we have to get 10 double kills in tax stance and let me tell you that is quite a challenge to do because this gun is extremely inaccurate first of all and then you actually have to get double kills so you have to get two enemy near you at one time while trying to eliminate them in tax stance which is very difficult to do however i do have a solution that will make this as painless as possible and i will show you now and the first thing we want to do is build our weapon as shown you want to use the hip shot l20 laser you want to use the stock that you see here you want to use the wsp tac-20 grip and the 50 round magazine because you are trying to take out two enemy at one time and then to help you out even more use the nine millimeter rounds because they do have inflicted wound damage and these attachments shown here actually help out tremendously with tack stance and on top of that to help you out even more what you want to do is go ahead and use the engineer vest because that gives you two tacticals and if you want another tactical go ahead and throw on the munition box so that gives you a total of three tacticals as soon as your munition box is charged up and for the gloves it really doesn't matter that much because you're not going to get any benefit from any other gloves in my personal opinion However, for the boots, you do want to move fast to get up on two enemy at the same time. So you need to run up on them after you have used your stun grenade to stun them. That is extremely important. And then you want to be able to find those enemy by using the black light so that you can see the footprints of said enemy that you want to eliminate. And last but not least, you want to go ahead and use the tack mask because you are throwing stuns and you want those stuns to not affect you. You only want them to affect the enemy and the tack mask helps out a lot with that. As you see here, it says, reduce strength of enemy flash stun and gas grenades immunity to shock emp and snapshot grenades and that's it for the wsp swarm now let's go ahead and look at our third smg 
And now we go from one of the most difficult weapons to one of the easiest weapons. And I wanna show you that this one really, we don't have to go over too much. But I'm gonna show you what we need to do. For gold, again, it's the same, not gonna talk about that. But for platinum, you do need 10 kills shortly after ADS. And that's why we had this weapon built as shown. And I will show you that in a second. But then for priceless is an interesting one. And this one is actually kind of confusing to me for just a second, but it didn't take me long to figure out that getting 10 kills without being in sight of the enemy Really, all that means is just shoot them in the back and you're good to go. Or if you see someone running in the distance, shoot them and you're good to go. I highly recommend playing hardcore to get this challenge completed. And to help out with that challenge, I'll go ahead and show you the build we have here. It's basically just built for speed with this barrel, the stubby stock, the phantom grip, and the 20 round magazine. Because as you are playing hardcore, you really only need one bullet to eliminate a player. And that's basically it for this weapon. Moving on to number four, we have the WSP-9. And you don't need to do much to this weapon as far as building it you just want to go ahead and put a suppressor on there i recommend the first suppressor slot as it does not limit your movement and then you want to throw on the chrono mini pro and i'll show you why we use those particular attachments right now don't need to talk about gold but for platinum it'll tell you here 10 kills while using a magnification scope now what that means is it does not have to be a scope we went over this many times in my previous videos that you'll find here it basically tells you that any scope will work you don't need anything with a zoom in you don't need a two time a 1.5 2.5 anything like that just use a red dot scope that's all you need to do that's what i did and it counted for the challenge and then for priceless you'll notice it says that we'll need suppressed headshot kills there's two ways you can build a weapon for that i went ahead and vouched to go ahead and just keep my red dot on there and run as fast as i can and get eliminations by getting headshots plain and simple and that'll be that weapon finished and moving on to number five, we have the Rival 9. And this one, again, is another easy one. You don't have to do too much. But what you do want to do is throw on the Shadow Strike Suppressor. It is the suppressor that gives you the most movement and doesn't give you any other penalties. But you will need it for the following challenges. For fours, get kills shortly after ADS and you need 10 of them. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just build this gun for speed, go into hardcore, aim down sight, and then eliminate a player. And that is how you do that challenge. The next challenge is, again, another very simple one. Get 10 suppressed double kills. And always when you're doing double kills, you want to be able to move. So again, build your weapon as quick as possible. And you want to use your quick gloves the fastest bit you can. And I do highly recommend using the black light so you know where your enemy are at all times. So that if you can see two sets of footprints, you can get up on them very quickly and get that elimination. And then obviously you want to use the tack mask to prevent yourself from stunning yourself. And that's basically it for that weapon. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Now moving into our sixth and final SMG that we have to get our camos for. I know what you're thinking and this is not a sniper. I know it looks like a sniper, but it's not a sniper. So let's go ahead and check this bad boy out and I'll tell you why this thing's built like a sniper. As you will see, you need to get 15 long shots with this SMG and if you know any Thing about the SMGs for Modern Warfare 3, they are extremely inaccurate. So they did make this challenge kind of difficult to get long shots, but the good news is, is we do have Russ to get long shots in and you can simply load in to a hardcore match and that will help out tremendously with these long shots. And for the priceless camo, you'll notice we need 15 headshots while moving. When it says while moving, I recommend just keeping the same build and strafing and that will complete both of those challenges with this same build. And I will show you what that build is right now. Starting with our optic, you always want to go in and filter as there is a new filtering system for Modern Warfare 3 and you can filter it for accuracy. So that's how you want to do every attachment and I highly recommend this particular optic and I'm going to be running this a lot in Warzone. Moving from our optic, we're going to go ahead and look at the stock and this one is clearly the most accurate stock in the whole lineup. So just make sure you use that stock and for the barrel, you want to use this one and you want to use this particular muzzle right here. And last but not not least you want to throw on a foregrip and the best foregrip is the VX pineapple from Modern Warfare 2. Now that you have the build I need to go ahead and show you the equipment we are using for this build in our loadout because for this it matters but all that really matters for the equipment is the marksman gloves because you are trying to get long shots with an SMG and the marksman gloves help you focus or hold your breath longer so that you can get your long shots. Congratulations, you finished your SMGs. And now since you're used to doing long shots, you might as well go ahead and do snipers and marksman rifles. And lucky for you, they're popped up on screen right now. 